Wow. Straight up into orbit. <laughs> Perfect. Look at this. Dead on, guys. Wow. Wow. Wow, the jeez. What is up, guys? We got a cool one today. <laughs> I never thought I'd be doing this. But um, so this is a this is a brand new design. Uh, it's not my design. It is, uh, it's Cochrane Exploration's design. Uh, guys, this is actually really cool, and I am super appreciative that um, Cochrane Exploration, uh, which is a Texas-based aerospace company, um, they are developing a horizontal takeoff and landing direct orbit vehicle for space exploration. Like, that is, how cool is this? They, uh, they reached out to me because they saw a bunch of my other videos, and they saw I can make everything fly pretty much anything fly uh, as long as i have some photos of uh, whatever design you're interested in uh you give me photos and i can make it fly and make it a reality so so they are in the um the early stages of getting funding they're going to start fundraising soon for their uh terran class uh space exploration vehicle so it's dual propulsion which is really cool uh, so you can see the intakes. There's intakes on the top and intakes on the bottom. And so they are going to use dual propulsion, propulsion system to to get their uh, their their craft um, out of orbit and uh, and back in. So this is super super cool. Uh, they're going to use scramjet engines and aerospike rocket engines for orbital insertion and space flight. So basically. Um, it, what, what's really cool about this is they have the scramjet engine intakes and then on the back here I haven't put this in here but there's going to be an insert where I'm thinking about putting some rocket engines in the back so so the the aerospike rocket engines are going to be in this this part here and they're going to ignite those and um, so you guys could probably hear the wind. I may have to voice over this because the wind is so terrible today. I should not be here right now. It's a full penalty wind. Where are you? Where's the, see the flag over there? Full penalty wind, which is no bueno, but I am limited on time. So I'm really busy with my other, my other job. So <laughs> I don't have, I really don't have time. So anyway, I wanted to get this thing up in the air and, and see if it flies. Um, there's no reason why it shouldn't. The design is fantastic. Um, I had a lot of fun modeling this, and uh, and I am very hopeful that this thing will fly. I mean, it should with no problem. The problem is I got a lot of wind, and you guys know how wind is when you're trying to when you're trying to fly something for the first time. Uh, so I'm going to. Aileron, I'm going to leave at 100% rate and 10%. And elevator, I'm going to give it more. I'm going to go to 115% uh, and see how that works. So I'm going to move out here a little bit because i got to throw this way. And we're going to see how this goes. Let's throw it into the wind. What a cool ship. We're going to see how it goes. Ooh, wind. Holy wind. I think I'm tail heavy, guys. I'm tail heavy. Okay. Definitely tail heavy. Got to adjust the CG for sure. I'm hoping everything looks good. Control services look good. Strong design here. Nothing broke. All right, so I need to absolutely add a little bit of nose weight. So I'm tail heavy. It was a little bit of a, a handfall, but that's gonna that's when this is just not a good idea for me to be here, guys. I really don't think this is a good idea, but I'm gonna give it another shot. Just because, like I said, I don't have a lot of time. I really want to see if this thing can fly. All right, I'm going to put a heavier battery in the nose. Throw it a little bit further forward. And see if we can get... 
I think the CG should be here. Uh, so we are just slightly forward, but I want to be more forward than that to extend the nose uh, to fit the battery in the front. Obviously, guys, you know, RC scale is not the same thing as um, as real life. Like, they have fuel, they have, they have all sorts of stuff that they're going to be working on or working with here. Um, you can, you can put fuel all, to all sorts of places. You can, you can change things up with the weight distribution, um, EDFs and, and jet engines. And, and like I said, uh, all the different, uh, things they're going to store in here are going to be able to, they're going to be able to change the weight around. But all right, let me see if this works. I've moved the CG forward a little bit. Ooh. Hold on. The wind wants to just take this thing and, and take it for a ride. Ready? There we go. Oh, wow. Look at that. Oh, we got it. Woo. All right, I got to turn the roll rate down. This thing really rolls. And I forgot my sunglasses. They're on my, sh my jacket. <laughs> it's flying great. Wow. I just need a heavier battery. All right, let's uh let's give it a roll. Whoa! Holy roll. I can't believe it's it's actually so stable in this like hurricane wind with those tiny little uh vertical stabilizers. It's actually a a, a, a really nice design. All right, I'm going to bring it in. I'm going to see if I can give it a little tiny bit more nose weight. Uh, it is really windy though, and I can see it's already, it's it's starting to sit on its tail a little bit. Um, beautiful. Look at that. I'm gonna find a way to get more weight on the front. See where we're at right now. We are ever so slightly. This is my original mark here. This was my second time mark. My second guess mark. So my fingers are one finger pad in front of here. So the CG is basically right in the middle of the canopy. I don't really have any references on panel lines or anything like that. Um, all right, so the roll rate can go, aileron can go way down, 80%, 10% expo is good. And elevator, I'm bringing it down to 100 because it was, it was, it's pretty perfect that way. So, all right, so now that we have, uh, we got, oh, I can put my sunglasses on now so I can fly it better. <laughs> and we have a 2200. This thing can take a 2800 here or like even a 3000 and it'll fly great. It's got so much lift that it flies great. All right, I gotta wait for the wind to die down a little bit. I, this thing is gonna, just gonna launch straight up my head. Okay, come on wind. So unfortunately guys, I'm wait, while I'm waiting for the wind, look at that wind flag over there, that's full value. You guys are not going to be able to get one of these because this is <laughs> this is Cochrane's design. It'll be up to them if they ever want to uh, release this thing. Well, obviously they're not going to because they're they're like a legitimate company trying to make a spacecraft. Um, but um, I cannot wait to fly this thing uh, without wind. That's going to be amazing. All right, let's try this again. Perfect. Look at this dead on guys wow 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 the jeez how is it possible that i was worried about the control surfaces being too small guys and the control surfaces give it so much authority and it do, it looks like a spaceship look at this thing wow okay so my cg was just too far back it has no problem in 25 mile an hour sustained wind right now. Look at this. I mean, it's obviously getting tossed, but. Wow. This is so cool. Super cool. Look at this. Look at the lift. It's got so much lift.
You guys need to go. I'm going to link uh, the the website for Cochrane uh, in, uh, in the description. I want you guys to check it out. I'm going to show pictures of this on the video. But it's such a cool looking craft. And what's even cooler is the color. I want to paint this thing, or I'm going to print a V2, and I want to try and paint it uh, their their livery, their their color scheme, and see how I can get it looking. Look at this thing, slow down in the wind. Look at it. I want to add rocket motors to this so bad. I can't believe it flies so good on our wind. This is nonstop, 25 mile an hour. You can barely hand launch this thing. Look at it come in, nice and slow. It's very stable. Look at it. Well, it's a viable design. 100% <laughs> viable. 100%. And it's fast. It's fast, it flies slow. Do a high speed pass here. Wow. Very cool. I know they're not going to be doing aerobatics, but super cool. Wow. Beautiful. Now I got it flying good. All I just needed is uh, the proper CG, and the proper CG is a finger in front of that line. So super cool. Wow. I am super impressed by this thing. So the original design kind of ended around here, uh, right about in this area. And I had to add, well, I printed it out and then I found out that I needed to extend things a little bit um, due to just the weight distribution. And this, honestly, this is just the CG thing. Uh, for RC scale. My 12200 is perfect and it will it will balance this thing perfectly. I just need a 2800 or something just bigger. But let's let's throw it up again. Let's see. I know the the CG balance isn't too terrible. It's just going to be a little bit tail heavy with this with this SMC pack. It's a little bit lighter than the 2200 regular one. Yeah, it's fine. Ooh. Yeah, the wind is nuts. Absolutely crazy. What a great flying plane, though. Wow. Straight up into orbit. <laughs> Super cool. Wow. Okay, so what if I put, what if I put, if you guys can link in the, in the, in the comments, if you guys have access to uh, these tiny, I want tiny little rocket engines like the size of AAA batteries or AAA batteries, something that's not too heavy. Look at this thing. This thing flies so good. Look at it. Wow. I, lo I absolutely love it. I love this thing. So cool. I'm so glad I could get this thing flying. So, um, if you guys could link to me in the description some rocket engines that I could put in the, in the center of the back of this thing and light them off at, at full speed and see how fast I can go. I'm going to put a GPS speed meter in it because this thing has such heavy lifting abilities with all the um, with all the, the the lifting body. Wow, look at this. I don't know how, I guess it's just the the, the elevons are so far out um, on the edges that there's just so much leverage to turn it uh, or to get it to roll. It's unbelievable, the, the roll authority on this thing. So. Uh, like I was saying, I want to put rocket engines in the middle of this thing and light them off and just for fun and just to see how it goes. Uh, I'm sure Cochrane will be on board with that. 
I'm gonna land this thing now because I don't wanna I forgot to check the voltage of this so unbelievable this thing feels just as good as any of any of my other good flying designs uh, there's there's nothing weird about it other than 30 mile an hour 25 mile an hour wind right now which is not fun I'm gonna come back and I'm definitely gonna do a second flight uh, with this version before I before I update anything or change anything um, and I'm gonna see what uh, what they want to do if they want to adjust anything and have me try something um, and uh, yeah this is this was such a cool a cool process of them helping me out and giving me the uh, giving me the photos of it and uh, yeah what a what a cool craft um, I wish them luck on this and I hope they they get the funding they need to get this thing you know off the ground and I want to see this thing <laughs> I want to see this thing fly in real life um, and I'll tell you what I hope that I can go out and watch this thing fly if they get it flying um, and that that would just be amazing uh, all around so what a fun project um, check their their website out if you guys are interested in joining joining their team um, they are looking to bring people on engineers uh, aerospace people you know people that are you know in this uh, line of work they are definitely looking for that so uh, I'm gonna link the, the website for for Cochran in the uh, description and I hope you guys like this video I'm gonna fly this again with no wind or less wind so I can really get a feel for it because it is a super fun jet to fly and uh, yeah hope you guys like this and I'll see you on the next one